no longer looking beyond our box at any other reality, we eventually forget that other realities exist or ever did. From this point forward, most of us simply go about our lives covering older images with newer but similar ones. Those that reinforce the images and stories we already have, adding further still to our imagined sense of security and our certainty in the reality we've created in a never-ending quest to give meaning to absolutely everything. Although an infinite number of other possible scenarios exist for every image and story we've embraced or created, we usually see only what is right in front of us on the walls of our glass box. We've stopped looking beyond our box so we cannot see other realities or possibilities, nor do we realize that we're the ones who created the reality we do see. And few of us are aware of what is happening. We believe we're still looking outside the box at the real world, exactly the way it really is, instead of staring at a finite collage of opinions, judgments, interpretations, and stories. Most of us are profoundly unaware that true reality is little more than the potential that exists before our minds label something with meaning. Before we decide if a thing or experience is good or bad, beautiful or ugly, a problem or an opportunity, it is the uncarved block of pure potential referred to in Taoism that exists in all things before they are exposed to perception before they are compared or weighed and measured, before we decide what they mean. Reality is an empty canvas awaiting the artist's brush. And we are the artists. We have the awesome power to transform reality into nearly anything we choose. Love or hate, good or evil, possibilities or limitations. The power we have over our lives is beyond our imagining. If only we knew. If only we could see. The irony of this vast power is that we've been using it all along, without even knowing. And as such, we've blindly painted ourselves into a single miniature world, instead of a thousand ever-expanding possibilities. We're like actors and filmmakers who begin believing that the movies and characters they've created are real. Your glass box is what the uncarved block of true reality becomes once it has been exposed to you. And we're not the only ones experiencing this illusion of our own making. Everyone else is doing the exact same thing. So the question is, what can we do with this understanding? 